3D Penguin Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be continuing my Earth Day series. Today I'll be working on my penguin nail, so it's going to be a penguin dad and egg. And I hope you like this design, and also check out the rest of the designs in this series. And also don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So begin by creating a gradient for the background with acrylic and I'm going to have a gradient that is white and blue and I want it to be mostly white so it kind of has that snow arctic look but then just a little bit of the blue to give it you know a color and um, you know just snow sometimes appears blue in the sun as well and then add so put a bead of white at the top brush it down blue at the bottom brush it up and you can add more white or blue as you see fit and then add another layer of clear acrylic over the entire thing to protect that gradient and also give the nail strength because clear acrylic is going to be much stronger than any um, glitter or color because there's nothing separating the polymer and the monomer from attaching to each other and it creates a much stronger hold so then with a 180 grit file, I'm going to just smooth out the nail because the smoother the nail is at this point, the easier it's going to be to make your 3D work on top of it. And then buff it with a, one, or a, four, a 240 grit padded buffer. Apply a layer of gel sealer and cure. With white acrylic, I'm going to be just forming the shape of my penguin. And so he's going to be a little bit wider at the top and then his body is going to taper a bit down towards his feet. And so he's got sort of a hunched over look, sort of a humpback appearance, I suppose. And then I'm going to add a thicker area for his one leg. He's, I'm going to be sculpting him so he's kind of at a slight angle. So you're only going to really see the one egg, or the one leg. I can't speak today. And then with black acrylic, I'm going to start working on his head. So for now, I'm not going to be making sure that it's the final shape and the final everything because I can always adjust later and it's easier to make things smaller and then increase their size later instead of realizing that you sculpt something way too big and then having to try to file it off and start over. So I'm just going to basically map out where I want his head to be and since I mentioned he's going to be like bent over looking at his egg, his head is down on the side and then carry the black up and around his back and then down the side for his wing. So right now I'm going to be working on his wing, and his wing is sort of tucked around around his body just a little bit, just like so. And now, since I've got that done, I can go through and thicken up the area where his head is and add his beak. And then his neck is also going to be white, and since I want that to have a dimension to it, I'm going to add a little bit more white there just to thicken that area up and show that he's not completely smooth. He does have texture. He is a three-dimensional creature. And then with a small bead of gray, I'm just going to add his feet, which are gray, and then, so place that down, and then with your brush, just create little divides in it um, for his different toes. Add his tail with black behind that leg. And then with a firm bead of white, so make sure you take the monomer out of the back of your brush, I'm going to be adding his egg that's just resting on top of his feet. So now with black paint, I'm going to go through and I'm going to separate his neck and his toes just to really show off those little details. And then I'm also going to touch up the details of his neck because he's got some black and white that's marbled and then have some yellow in there. So we want to blend that yellow back, add a white eye. And then I'm painting white on his beak first and then putting orange on top of it just so that orange shows up because otherwise if you were to just paint the orange on top of the black it would not be able to be visible the black would show through paint over his egg with a creamy yellow and then with white I'm going to be highlighting my penguin so I'm going to highlight his leg and the one side of him just to really show just to give him a little more dimension even though it's just with paint and then add a layer of matte top coat on top of him to protect all that acrylic paint. So I hope you like this design and don't forget to check out the rest of the designs in this Earth Day series. And please share recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them. I will see you in my next video. Bye!